it, but uh, these are the kind of things that I want you to see that, uh, you know, there was an investment. I actually had to build this and pay for it, but again, this was a great location. Now, to back it up a little bit, for those of you who are feeling a little overwhelmed, um, I have displays at other malls as well. Uh, I ask every audience, any of you have displays, I hear things like, I pay $100 a month, I pay nothing, it's free, they gave me a wall because they had a blank wall. Um, I have mall displays that are as low as $300 a month. So it, you don't have to spend a ton of money, but the client that I get from these displays are very different. The clients, the one that's $300 a month, it's mainly high school seniors. So we have all high school senior market there. Uh, this one, totally different client base. So uh, just start small and grow big. Okay, the next one, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I just won't look at her anymore. <laughs> So first of all, I just want to say that um, Fair Oaks in the chat room has said that you give her inspiration. She never finished ninth grade either, and it just goes to show you how you can do anything if you believe in yourself. So <laughs> thank you. And have some questions? Yeah. Um, Gail is wondering, when you took them cookies, do the tins have your studio information on the tins? We've done both. We've mm -hmm. had customized tins, but honestly, for the investment, people eat them and throw them away. So it's just not one that we've seen a lot of response from, so we don't invest our money there anymore. That's a good question. And another quick <laughs> one. Uh, when, you, when you gift sessions, we were talking earlier about um, if you go into a boutique and you gift a session to the owner. Mm -hmm. Do you give them images and prints with that as a gift, or do you just chalk it up to Typically, marketing networking costs? In a, a doctor's display, um, we have an entire program, um, which you guys are going to give one away in a minute if people are tweeting, and we're going to give one to one of you guys. Um, but typically, uh, it's, an, an, it's a set program that the people in the office, like if the owners, the, the three doctors, we give them each a 16 by 20 um, and a complimentary family session that they can display. But they sign contracts. They actually have to commit to keeping it in their office for a minimum of two years. Um, the images that go on the walls, uh, we always get asked the question, do we sell them when, they're, when we're done, when we're changing them out? There are three options. If we know the people and love them, we might gift, they become good clients, we gift it to them. If they, we don't know who they are anymore, we put our number, and I'm sorry, we put their name and number on the back of the prints. So when we pop it out of the frame, we can call them and say, hey, we've got this, it's half off. Um, or if they're damaged, we just get rid of them. So yeah, so it's, depending on the location, with a hospital, we give a single credit, like $100 to each person that comes in, where if it's more intimate, a doctor's office, we may give them an actual wall portrait. We don't give them a lot of small prints because we do want to sell them things. Um, we only give them a 16 by 20 because we want to uh, upsell them to a larger wall portrait, so we count calculate these things pretty carefully. Does thank that work? You. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> cool. And following on that, Elsa's wondering if you sign contracts as to how long they agree to hang it there. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, hospitals are contracted for two years. Um, and at the end of two years, sometimes, I mean, either we are lax or they are lax. It's not a rush to get it down or changed, but we can come back and say, look, your contract's up. It's been two and a half years. We let you keep it up a little while longer. We'd like to replace it. And they're excited to do that. So absolutely everything is contracted just because uh, we want to make sure that, um, you know, we're controlling everything. Uh, customer loyalty. So this was the second. This is one of the top three newsletters, keeping in touch with your clients. Now, newsletters, we have created a million, billion different types of newsletters, but I really want to focus on the one on my right. <laughs> uh, there's a little brown box there with a picture of my children. This is many years ago. Out of everything in this newsletter, uh, what I can tell you is keeping in touch with your clients is very important. When I first started out, moved to Colorado, this is way before... Um, digital media and where you could print. I mean, back when I was making newsle newsletters, it was a single white piece of paper that I did myself. And if you wanted to put pictures on it, you actually had to go to the copy place and tape them on and make photocopies. <laughs> this is where I started. And do you guys remember clip art? I was like the queen of clip art. I literally could put ducks on anything. So, so I would, uh, you know, I would make these awesome, what I thought were awesome, horrific little newsletters. But man, I stuck them everywhere. Every same thing, restaurants, anywhere I could stick those little newsletters. And I collected my clients' names. I mailed them out. Well, over the years, we obviously gained more money and started doing four-color printing and everything. But I want you to focus on that one little brown box for a minute because it doesn't matter what goes in here. Yes, we have sales and charitable events and things like that, but that little box from the start of my company 
It's called a note from Sandy. And it is a personal note from me to my clients, just basically about life, thanking them for being clients. It usually has something to do with my kids. It has always been, you know, we took a trip to New Jersey, and this was the first time they've ever seen fireflies, and I'll tell that story. And, <laughs> and you know, I mean, it's, it's always something that happened that, that is important to me, and I'll just share that. And then I always end with the thank you for allowing me to do what I love so that I can be with those who I love. Dang it. <laughs> so it's always been there. Well. 12 years ago, when I opened that first studio, I had had um, my th th now 13-year-old, I had had him, and he was born with a very severe condition. We did not think he would survive. At, at six days, his heart stopped, and uh, they had to resuscitate him. And from there, he went to Children's Hospital, and he spent about the first year and a half of his life in the hospital for the most part of his life. Uh, we were told that he would not survive, and so there was many times where we were planning funerals. And meanwhile, I had just opened this studio. And so, of course, my whole life blew up. In fact, that's the first time I hired a professional photographer. I never wanted to have a big studio. Just like most of you, I was the artist. I didn't want to share. But I had a little boy in the hospital. I was about to lose everything. And so I had to do something. And so in this case, I hired a photographer. And thank heaven, she was a wonderful person, very similar personalities. So my clients accepted her really easily. And they knew what was going on. Well, this little section here, this note from Sandy, became my communication source during that year. I would tell them, I'm sorry I'm not there as much, and this is what's going on, and he's doing better, and he's now six months, and I was able to really help share that information. Now, interestingly enough, um, not even a year ago, I had a client come in, uh, and my son, of course, is now 13, and has a full beard, by the way. <laughs> he's like a big man. I had a client come in the other day, and we were just doing a session, and she looked at me, she said, by the way, how's Nick's do Nick doing? And I stopped, and I looked at her, and I wanted to say, I, I knew why she was asking, because 13 years later, she remembered what he had gone through. And so I almost wanted to say, he's doing great. Do you remember anything that was on sale back then? Because, you know, obviously the newsletter had an effect, but it did not have the effect that you would think. She remembered Nick's story because she emotionally connected to me. She remembered my children growing up because she emotionally connected to me. And it's one tiny percentage of what a newsletter is. So my point with all that is when you're producing marketing, I've said a thousand times, you're not selling paper, you're selling yourself. But you're really and truly connecting with these people. You are becoming... It's the weirdest thing, but you're their friends. Even though you see them once a year, you are a part of their family. And so by opening up a little bit and sharing a little bit, you're becoming real to them. You become a real entity. And these are the things that make a difference. Um, I could teach you how to sell things and market things for the rest of your life, but the truth is I'm only trying to teach you to connect with people because that's really all you get out of life are those connections. All right, let's bring us back up now, dang it. <laughs> I felt that one drop really low. Let's all come back up. Okay, on to the referral program. How's that? <laughs> all right, this is the third key. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, just a quick question there um, from Croatia. Was Are those newsletters now email versus ma Were they mail oh, back then? Oh, thank you. I'm, I got too emotional, and I, I, I wanted to move on. <laughs> thank you. Uh, originally, 10 years ago when I was teaching this, we did four printed pieces per year uh, seasonally. Now we do two printed pieces and we do a weekly e-blast. However, weekly is probably far too much for most small companies. We are a big company. So most of you, if you can do one a month is the minimum we recommend because you want to keep in touch. So a, we a monthly e-blast for most of you and a printed piece is still very important. There are people out there who are very tactile. It means more to them to touch and feel and see and save. And that's really important as well. So don't not print. Um, OK, referral program. Uh, the referral program is really just saying thank you to your clients. Now, I'm going to quickly go through this because I have d had a referral program from the beginning of time. And what I'm really going to do here is give you the disclaimers, the things that you have to have on your referral program to make this work. Because this is 24 years of uh-ohs that I've fixed. Um, this one says, thank you for referring blank to our uh, studio. Please accept a uh, free 8x10 portrait, a $150 value. Now, we give a complimentary 8x10 for every referral. So when a new client calls, this is important. When they call and they say, I want to book a session, we, first thing we say is, how did you hear about us? And if they say, oh, Susie Smith just raves about you, we'll say, wonderful. Can you tell Susie we are going to send her a certificate, a thank you certificate that's a $150 value? Notice I did not say we're going to send her a free 8x10. 
even though that's what it is, we never say the product, because you know in the consumer world, an 8x10 is worth nothing. You can go to a chain studio right now and for $3.99 literally get 50 sheets of paper. So if we say you're getting an 8x10, there's no value. If I say she's going to get a $150 certificate, that new client is going to go, oh my gosh, are you serious? I'll tell her. Usually we'll follow it up with, oh, and by the way, if you like what we do, if you refer anybody to us, you will also get a $150 certificate. So we close that gap there and get them thinking about sending people to us before they've even come to us. Now, these disclaimers are what's on the bottom, and this is honestly years of doing it the wrong way. So I'm going to go through them real quickly. Uh, the first one, certificate good for one free 8x10 or one smaller portrait. You're going to have a client that's going to come to you and say, you know what, I don't need an 8x10. Can I just have like two 5x7s <laughs> or eight wallets? The more images you give, the less you sell. That's why it's good for one 8x10 or one smaller portrait. Now, if a client questions it, I can turn them, look them right in the eye and say, you know what, Unfortunately, this is a program I have with my lab, and it really is good just for one complimentary portrait. Now, that is not a fib because it is a program. I shoot it, I edit it, I prepare it, I send it to the lab, the lab prints it, they send it back. That is technically a program, is it not? So I'm not lying. <laughs> totally works in here. I get it. <laughs> so I'm not fibbing, but it's, it's a strong answer, and it ends the conversation. If you buckle, if your clients see you go, well, then you're sold. You've just lost your ground. So uh, one 8 by 10 or one uh, portrait. Uh, the next one is new, uh, new sessions only. New sessions only means that you're creating new energy. I told you no homework. I don't want to do anything that give, gives you homework. So, of course, if a client... Um, calls you and says, I got this certificate in the mail, and five years ago you took a picture of little Johnny and he was fishing on the rock and I loved it and I couldn't afford it, can I have that? Guess what, if you go to your archives and you look for the little picture of little Johnny fishing on the rock, what's the only file you can't find in the universe, <laughs> honestly? And that's why we don't wanna create work, that's negative energy, you're going and doing work for your client. If you say new sessions only, then all of a sudden they've got to book a session, they've got to pay for that session, and they've got to come in and you get a chance to wow them again. So we want to bring energy in. Uh, no cash value is number three. Um, that one makes sense. Uh, you will get clients that will say, you know what, I don't really need an 8x10. Can I just take $150 off my order? It will happen. You have the answer now. Um, the last one in our studio, ours says expires one year from postmark date because we do mail these out. They are a postcard. They're a mailable postcard. So we just address them to the person that referred and we send them right out. We also track it and we put it in the clients, the new clients folder who sent them so that we have that tied in. And um, we send it out so it expires one year from postmark date. Now, honestly, it doesn't really expire. We don't really hold anyone to that because... I know that some clients only come every two years, and if they're saving it and holding on to it, then that's okay. And the last one, we put this on, because this is a template on You Can Do, we build these for other photographers. The last one says minimum purchase applies. Um, I don't have a minimum purchase. It's really on there for your protection if you want it. Um, I'm not a big fan of minimum purchases. I believe, my opinion is this, if you're forcing someone to spend money, then you didn't do your job right. So this is just my opinion, and I know everybody has a different one, but I feel like if a client comes in and they're not satisfied, whether it's my fault or their fault, we give a 100% satisfaction guarantee. I want to reshoot it, replace it, refund it is our rule. Um, so I don't have a minimum purchase. However, if you're starting out and you feel like you need to have that, you can. Now the next question I'm going to get is how many certificates can, these, how can a client use at one time? Anybody want to take a guess? How many can they use? One. As many as they want. All right, then. And um, <laughs> so if you, have, if you have a client that walks in and they have 10 of these in their hands, what are you going to do? You have gonna, to book 10 sessions. True. <laughs> but, well, no, they only need one session because they can use them. But what you're going to do is you're going to give them the biggest hug you ever gave anyone <laughs> in your life, and you're going to hire them as your marketing director right there on the spot <laughs> is what you're going to do. Because what does 10 of those mean, really? Ten new, Ten new clients, mm -hmm. exactly. So, truth is, I'm not trying to scare you because I've never had, I wish somebody would walk in with 10. That would be a really good day for me. But I've seen five, maybe one time in 24 years. I've seen four a couple times a year, three every once in a while, two all the time, and one almost every day. It's not going to put you out of business. It's not going to hurt you. If you're consistent with, you, with it, it will make a difference. People love this. Now, I mentioned the expiration date um, because I want to kind of talk about, I had a client come in, it was really interesting, um, I had a client come in a while ago, and uh, 
she came in the door, and as soon as I saw her, I have not seen her in years. This is one of my original baby plan clients. So she, when she walked in, it was the lobby full of people, and she was like, I was so excited. I came up, gave her a hug. I said, um, how's your son? Because it had been, I mean, a lifetime since I'd seen her. And she was really excited, and she, she looked at me, and she said, Sandy, can I talk to you for a minute? And you know when somebody says that to you, it's like the worst feeling in the world. I was like, oh, yeah, what can I do? She's like, can, can we talk in private? And I was like, oh, man. So I've done something horrible now. I literally walked away, away from people, go, and I started sweating. I was like, what did I do? What could possibly? This has been 20, you know, 10 years since I've seen her. So we get in a private space, and she turns to me, and she says, she goes, Sandy, I'm so embarrassed to tell you this. She said, but, um, you know, I haven't been to you in a lot of years. You photographed my son's first year, and then you moved into your studio, and frankly, I just, you kind of grew out of my price range, and I couldn't come anymore. And she said, about six years ago, um, it was my birthday. She said it was my birthday, and my husband was driving me nuts. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And I finally looked at him, and she said, I happened to get one of your mailers, and I finally looked at him, and I said, I'll tell you what. When our son is a high school senior, I want a family portrait by Sandy. I want a big wall portrait for my birthday by Sandy. So she's telling me this, and I'm listening to her, and she says, so six years ago, I gave up a birthday to have a wall portrait with you. And she said, my son is a senior, and we are ready to do this. And she said, but I have to be honest with you, you're still not in our budget. So she said, I'm trying to be really frugal and everything. And um, she said, I want you to know something. She goes, even though I haven't been here, I have followed you everywhere. She said, I have every newsletter you've ever sent. She said, I have a filing cabinet full of everything. She said, I have one file that's called Sandy Putch and everything you've ever done is in there. She said, I have all of it. And she said, I was going through it trying to plan this. And she said, I found this. And she held up this little purple piece of paper. Now, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was mine because there was clip art all over it. <laughs> so I saw it and she said, I know this is probably expired. She said, but it doesn't have an expiration date on it. Can I use this? And I took it from her, <laughs> and it said, uh, thank you referring so-and-so to, at the time, it was Expressions Photography. Please accept this for a complimentary 8x10 portrait, a $19.99 value. <laughs> Literally, she had to have gotten that within the first two years of moving to Colorado. So she had held that for probably 16, 17 years. She had had that in her possession. And of course, I looked at her and she said, so I don't know if I can use it. Is it even possible? And I looked at her and I said, absolutely, you can use this. I said, I have one favor. Can I please have this? Because this is the ugliest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. And I do not want anyone to see that this came from there. So she gave it to me. And you know what I did with it? I actually took it and I put it in a little frame. And it sits on my desk because every time I see it, Sorry, dang it. Every time I see it, I realize that somebody gave up a birthday to have a portrait with me. And I think that's, and I'm sorry, I'm taking you guys down so much, but it's a big deal to me to know that somebody kept 16 years, held on to something, and gave up a birthday to do it. It, it was a pretty cool thing. So, so these are the intersections that actually bring you to realize how powerful what you do really is. We do make a difference, I can assure you. So you have the disclaimers, you have the emotional reason why you have to do it. Don't forget these because these will kick you in the butt if you don't have them there. Another thing that we do in our studio real quickly, every single order that leaves our studio will leave with what we call business card wallets. It's our logo, our phone number, and our website. We select the images. They do not, it's a gift that we give them at the end. They pick, usually it's one that they've ordered, but we drop it into these little templates. This is our old logo. Um, we are now just Sandy Putch Photography, um, but um, we'll talk about branding and marketing even more later. But uh, just so you know, everybody gets eight of these. This gives everybody eight opportunities to talk about us. When they're at the standing in the shopping malls and they're raving about you know, their photographer, they've got that card they can hand off. So for a couple bucks, it's one of the best investments we have. But remember, we control it. It's a gift. We've done it for so many years. We do have, we very rarely forget, but if for some reason we forget, they'll come ask us. They'll be like, we didn't get our free wallets. But um, these are a great tool as well. Um, now, I want to talk about the baby referral because this one is sort of the earlier on, you actually had an audience question. They talked about um, how do you get people, how do you get those names? And we were talking about buying lists and things like that. This is our number one marketing source for the baby program. So we're kind of going back to that. This is our baby referral program. I started to think about um, the olden days where I could just go get names and um, buy lists and things like that. And I realized none of those things were working anymore. And so 
I started looking around, and one day a client came in my uh, studio, and we were chatting about it, and it was her baby's first birthday, and I looked at her, and I realized something really important. Do you realize that every single client that comes in your door that has a baby in their hand probably knows three to five people that have babies, period? So as I was looking at her, I realized, you know, there's my biggest marketing resource right there in front of me. And so I decided, wow, my clients are really the best resource I have. So we decided to create this uh, referral program. Now, any program we create, as you know, we go to the nines. We completely build it because we know other photographers use it. Um, this is actually a part of the baby kit, which we're going to give away. And you guys are, you didn't give that away yet, did you? That's going to be coming up really soon. So we're going to be giving away the entire baby program. Um, but we completely brand it and make it our own. And you guys all got your mini baby kits, so you can do any version of this you choose. Um, but the idea was everything from gift certificates to, um, to the newsletters to the studio posters, everything has a unique branded look. Uh, we put a studio poster up. In addition to putting in our newsletter and sending out a postcard, the studio poster says, ask us about our new baby referral program. Give a wonderful gift to your friend and receive a $50 gift certificate for you. And what the program is, people come in all the time and they say, what's the